Yes, my good friends, it's time once again to join me in reviewing the latest sci-fi and fantasy 28-32mm miniature upcoming releases in what I rather quaintly call the Colonel Marbles Miniature Review vidcast. Let's get cracking in what was rather a slow week, but I do have a quality top 8 list for you this time. I'm very pleased to say the show continues to be sponsored by Rattlehead Games, fine purveyors of many of the independent sci-fi and fantasy figures featured in the show. So we start off this week at number 8 and Hordes from Privateer Press. This is a Scorn Agonizer, apparently. I'm afraid it's not doing a huge amount for me, although it's had a very positive reaction on the Privateer message boards, as far as I can understand. Oh well, it's all about individual tastes and opinions in the end. Rat Trap Productions fill the number 7 berth. This is a 28mm Kroonbot pulp robot, due to be released in August, with a pack of two costing 6 US dollars. These retro robots really seem to be flavour of the month at the moment. They're certainly a lot of fun. Next up at number 6 we have Urban Mammoth Metropolis. This is one of the new releases upcoming for the Syntha Biomech Assault Cell box set. And here's another. These are pretty cool huge cyborg dudes that should be a great addition to Urban Mammoth Metropolis range. I haven't been able to find any word on pricing so far on these. And at number 5 we have our dear old friend of the show, as we like to say in showbiz, Hassle Free Miniatures. Yes, it's another week, and that must mean another hassle-free white metal green. This is a mushroom man called Agarix, sculpted by Ross Luckier. From what I can understand, there's going to be lots of variants of this figure that will eventually be available. And number four, we have Impact Miniatures. This is Deadwood, an excellent undead tree man figure for Blood Bowl. Can I say Blood Bowl? It certainly fills a gap in the market. Actually, it really reminds me of an old tree man that I used to have up in the loft, but I can't remember the manufacturer for the life of me now. The price is expected to be around 20 US dollars. Brought to you in part by the warstore.com, your online service for miniatures, rules and much more. So we're into the top three now, and at three we find Eastern Front Studios. This is a preview pick of a steampunk dwarf, or savage automaton hunter as he's officially called. He's 22mm tall to the eyes. Definitely rather different. I love his backpack and power arm. Yes, he's got tons of character all round. We need more stunties like this. And just missing out on the top slot this week, it's Helderado. They've released pictures of lots of great new character figures. This is a very well executed traditional looking wizard. It actually comes with a huge golem figure compatriot as well. This is Baptiste Valombra and he actually comes with a retainer not shown here. Another great character miniature from the much anticipated, by me at least, Helderado line. And this is a rather excellent figure of Prince Tarek, a magnificent Sinbad-type character by the look of him. He actually comes with the eagle taking off the head of the zombie figure we saw back in Vidcast 27. Tremendous stuff. I'm going to have to pick this guy up. Anyway, since these guys topped my list a few weeks ago, I've decided to put them at number two rather than number one spot. Sponsored in part by Blue Table Painting, your first choice for an excellent miniatures painting service. Yes, I decided to reserve the honour of the number one spot this week to Heresy Miniatures. They've posted some cool work-in-progress photos of three 28mm scale succubi figures. First up is this one, a babe in the beach pose, the little minx. And the next source spot is another fine sculpt. These figures are available for pre-order for £3 each, or £7.50 for all three. That's in UK pounds, by the way. And finally we have another cracking succubus. These are excellent femme fatales from Heresy, and I hope to see plenty more. And that, I'm afraid, rather sadly, brings us to the end of another Colonel Marbles Miniatures Review vidcast. I'll see you again next week, and thanks for tuning in.